Hey guys, what is going on? So, um, tonight we're going to make some really fun Alfredo. I say fun just because I love cooking, but also because it's super easy to make. Um, honestly, it takes longer to bowl the noodles than it does to make the sauce. So, um, that being said, you can make the sauce at any time. You can refrigerate it. You can have it ready in your jars. It is a super, super easy alternative to any of your jarred Alfredo sauce. You can jar it yourself, which I've done in the past a bunch. Um, I do have some mortars over here heating up. I've got one mortar in the back for my broccoli. We're gonna boil some broccoli for it to go with it. Um, I've also got the front pasta mortar about to come up to a bowl. The first thing I'm gonna do over here for the sauce is bump it up to about eight, right below high. Um, and I am going to melt two sticks of butter. Yo, Ben Rick, good to see you, bro. How you doing tonight? Hey, Ben Rick, what's up? So, um, most of my bases for all of my sauces and come down to butter. Treeland. <laughs> hey, Treeland. How you doing, Treeland Truth? Hope y'all are doing good tonight. Start off with two sticks of butter, and then while those are kind of melting down, I'm gonna go over the ingredients over here that are super easy. Guys, y'all can use any pasta you want. The, I don't even know how to say it right, Casarecci pasta uh, was on sale the other day at Aldi, so I grabbed up two packs of those. We do it with the traditional fettuccine, the spiral rotini, whatever penne, whatever you have, you can use. Um, when I make it, I make a good bit, so that's why I'm doing two sticks of butter. Um, if you were making it at home for a smaller batch of people, you could definitely cut that down in half. And I actually can write down this recipe and post it whenever the live gets going. I'll post it, um, the full recipe for this because it's so easy for anyone to copycat. What is up, um, Ghost Pirate? Good to see you, my friend. Jen Life, how you doing tonight? So, I've got two sticks of butter and I've got two tablespoons of minced garlic. This garlic is in water and it's fine. It'll cook off a little bit. You'll hear it sizzling in there. I'm only going to saute the garlic until I can smell it really well um, just to get it going. And then all you do is add your heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to add five cups of heavy whipping cream. Grandma cream. Moses, Vegan Realist, how y'all doing? I hope y'all are having a good evening. Thank y'all for coming back with us tonight. The trick when you're heating up milk or cream, you guys, is to heat it kind of slow, like on medium. Um, and that way, as soon as it comes to a bowl, you want to pull it off. Treeland says, what is this? This is homemade Alfredo. We're doing a lobster. Um, it's a, I said lobster. It's langostino, langostino tails. They are crayfish slash lobster. They're mini lobster tails. When you find them, I find them at Aldi's pretty often during the season. Um, they are actually like little mini lobsters, you guys. And they are already cooked and peeled and ready to go. Aldi's so, carries these? Yep, Aldi's carries those tails. They're in the, you know, the frozen bin section. I always salt my water you guys whenever i do pasta what's up winter um, days so i'm waiting on that butter to cook down a little bit more and as soon as we get it fully liquid you can hear some sizzle to it already i'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic to it and we're starting to get some good movement over there out the pasta water so i can go ahead and do that as well um so this particular pasta says 10 to 12 minutes. I usually will go right in the middle of that. You just want to make sure you bring your water up to a rapid bowl before you add any pasta to it. And then of course stir it really well so it doesn't stick. You guys, Another thing I like to do is put a little drop of grease down into that oil and that'll yeah. keep your noodles from sticking to the bottom so actually, bad as well. I thought I had my ghee out, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for that. So that's one bag of pesarecci. Pasta. There's two bags. I'm sure I'm probably saying that name wrong, y'all. So if you know the real name of that, y'all can announce it for me. All these pastas have crazy names. Greg Manley, voices behind the wall. Hey, what is Greg. up and how y'all doing? Good to see y'all this evening. Oh, Hope y'all had a great day today. So, Vegan Realist is chilling too. And Treeland Truth has an awesome paranormal orb video. Y'all check that out. Let's just open this. There we go. I'm actually going to add a little bit of some flavored olive oil 
over here. It's tomato, garlic, and oregano infused olive oil. Look how pretty that is, you guys. <laughs> Moose came in and he said olive oil right when you was pulling this out. What's up, Moose? How you doing, bro? That's my actual blood brother right there, my friends. That's Moose McBrew. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for coming in, Mark. So I'm gonna swirl a little bit in that infused oil right there in the top of that pasta water. Thank you, Scott Brogan. Appreciate you, my friend. Okay, guys, we got some good sizzling going on with this butter. This is not clarified butter. This is regular sticks of butter. So you can see you always get a little bit of cook off whenever you use a traditional butter. So I'm gonna put that garlic in there. I'm going to go ahead and bump my heat down to five, halfway, medium. Let that sizzle for just a minute. You don't want that garlic to actually turn. You just want it to get fragrant. Um, and that's how you know it's releasing out some of its juices. And I do have, um, for the recipe for the Alfredo guys, I do um, six cups of cheese total. I do three cups of shredded Parmesan and three cups of grated Parmesan. Um, you can also sub in, if you don't want a really thick, heavy Alfredo, you can always sub in some condensed milk or whole milk um, for that heavy whipping cream. That will also work. Oh my gosh, it already smells so good. Yeah, Mark uh, Moose, Grandma Moses is an awesome friend. She's been around a long time. Yeah. Jen Life, another awesome friend right there, a member to the channel. We greatly appreciate Jen Life. She's putting out great comment. <laughs> Uh, uh, content. We got number one karma ghost up in here. AAP, karma. much love, brother and sister, love and light, positive energies to everyone. What's Bam! Up, what is up, karma? Okay, guys. Joni, how you doing today? We are starting to get that garlic is really flavoring up the whole kitchen. It smells amazing. You can see it sizzling in there. It's on a medium heat, and what I'm gonna do next is actually go ahead and add in all my cream. I use solid heavy whipping cream for my Alfredo. This is four cups. Heavy whipping cream. Yep, heavy whipping cream. You can sub in if you want a lighter recipe, and I mean lighter as in fat content. You can add in um, and do, I'm gonna do five cups total. You can do a canned condensed um, evaporated milk, not condensed, evaporated milk. Or you can use some vitamin D whole milk um, with this, and that will help with your fat content. Ooh, it's smelling really good. I know, it smells so good. So, butter and cream. Some people will make a roux um, and do an actual, like, gravy base for this, and that's, you know, absolutely fine as well. I just don't really think it's needed when I use the amount of cheese I do. Um, because this thickens as it stands, you guys. It gets thick and it gets thick quick. Um, as soon as I get a little bit of movement, I don't know if I am, I might end up moving that back burner up to the front. That is going to be for the broccoli. Um, and broccoli florets, you guys, you can overboil broccoli so easy. And I like a little bit of resistance in our broccoli. <laughs> so honestly, Michael Jordan, what's up, bro? When it comes to broccoli florets, you guys, I bring the water to a bowl, and I throw these in, and I turn it off, and then they're done. They sit there for a minute, and they are done. They're perfect. Um, so broccoli is super, super easy to work with. Yeah, my brother's all into them dog man stories. That's Moose McGrew right there. He said cooking with dog man. Oh <laughs> dog man paranormal cooking. I have, a, I have a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning that's going in there, you guys. Um, just because I love a little bit of color to my pasta sauce. And I love that Italian flavor. Now, you may also at any point here add in some shredded and sliced up sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I love sun-dried tomatoes. I thought I had some more Cajun seasoning, and actually I may have some. Mr. AAP don't care for them things. The Cajun seasoning? The sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, the sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> Mac now, Eats, what's up, brother? If you want sun-dried tomatoes in your pasta sauce, it turns it a little bit red and pretty, but it, um, you get that tomato infusion, and you can simmer them with the garlic in the beginning with the butter. And guys, we're literally just waiting on this to come up to temperature. You want cream to come up to temperature very slow. I'm going to stick over here with some spice rice. Michael Jordan said he's chilling, smoking the blunt. Heck yeah, my friend. Hope you got a good strain to smoke on. 
I got some great stuff coming down. Super Silver Haze, GG number four plus cheese, Royal Blueberry Gelato, Blueberry, OG Kush. Bam. Bam. That's the good stuff right there now. <laughs> Raging Cajun, y'all. Heck Cajun yeah. Seasoning. That's some good stuff. It is so good. I'm going to sneak some in. I can't do a lot. Some of the kids are a little finicky. That takes care of my pepper fix. And then I am going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit meaning like literally probably a tablespoon. No, like a quarter of a teaspoon. Like barely any salt. Moose says, What's up to MJ too? We got winter days up in here right now saying hey, where you get days? that seasoning. That seasoning, believe it or not, did I buy this in Michigan? I think I found this in Michigan at the grocery store. I did, I found it at Kroger. Very good product right Parker there. Had it. Michael Jordan says, what is up to Moose too? We got Karma Ghost running that link for Treeland Truth. Treeland Truth has a great channel, so does Karma Ghost. Make sure to grab both of them up. You if know, you're blue and you would like to drop your links, feel free to do so, guys and gals. Drop those links. Wanna, What's up, P-Class? You want to keep the Alfredo sauce moving, y'all? I can set a timer on this, uh, <laughs> on the pasta. I've been I'm watching it and stirring it. Um... Keep your Alfredo sauce moving because you don't. You can scorch milk really easy, y'all. Like really easy. Um, and I'm Voices gonna behind the wall has a great channel too. Sorry, Mama. Go ahead. <laughs> You're fine. I'm gonna show y'all a trick too with the pasta so it don't stick. Um, when I go to strain it, I always keep a little bit of uh, water in the pot, and I'll add the pasta back to the water and stir it in, and add a little bit of oil to it, and that way you don't have to stick the pasta. You can also add a little scoop of your sauce to it just to keep them unstuck once you get them back into the pan. And when I plate this meal, I always plate them a little bit separately um, and stack them up pretty. So, I mean, that's really it, you guys. This is a super easy recipe. When this sauce um, comes further up to a bowl in a minute and starts to get some movement to it, I'm just going to add these cooked Langostino little mini lobster tails into it. Straight to it. So, yeah, I'm about to strain them right now. They were soaking and thawing for um, a couple hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain out these little baby lobsters. And y'all can see how adorable they are. They're like a crayfish cross, is all I know how to describe them. And they are absolutely ready to eat right now. Like anything you would normally do with a lobster, you can do with these and the price is amazing. But that's all these for you. Yeah, I get a shot of those. I mean, they're adorable, look at that. Eventually here, I'm going to try to get a better camera for what we do. That way y'all can get a really good, crisp, clear picture. Because I know that it's a little grainy when it's coming in through YouTube. I'm just going to grab a spoon, y'all, to um, taste the sauce. You can see we're at full liquid mode right now. You won't get any thickening of that whipping cream until you add cheese to it. What's up, Super Dad? I was thinking about you earlier today, man. How's everything going? Super Dad has a great channel too, my friends. Y'all check out Super Dad. He's a grower. Oh my gosh, you guys. What you got, Mama? This is so good. <laughs> I'm going to sneak a little bit more Cajun seasoning in it, though. Holy moly, that's garlic and Italian and oh, cream. Hope everybody's having a great day today. So you can really doctor it to your own flavors, your own, you know, taste, you guys. If you just want a basic plain Alfredo, then, I mean, you don't have to add anything to it. But I like the Italian seasoning and a little bit of a Cajun kick. Oh, yeah. And then, um... What's up, Bart Simpson? Good to see you, bro. How you doing today? Bart, um, there's always smoked paprika you can add into here for color to get a little bit of a red color profile. Blackening seasoning is another one you can add to it. This is just a basic cream sauce. I mean, and it's so easy. There's no reason why you can't make a ton of it. And even to cut cost, you can do half whipping cream and half vitamin D whole milk. And uh, as soon as you add the cheese to it, you guys, it's going to be perfect. And you can can it yourself, put it in the fridge. I mean, it'll keep in a sealed can in the fridge. It'll keep three months. No problem, Super Dad. You're blue now. If you got any new content out there that you would like to share, feel free to drop the link in the chat, my friend. It makes it easy for everybody to get over there and check out your channel, check out your new content as well, too. This whole cooking thing's a little bit new for me and Mrs. AAP. We're going to be doing it as often as we can, but we're also going to be bringing back the other show, you know, chilling downstairs, going through different strains and having a good time. So this is just something that we're doing during the evening for Mrs. AAP.
As We've been enjoying it. As soon as that pasta comes out, I'm going to move that other pot up forward for the broccoli. And then y'all can see how I plate this. And it's so easy. I also, oh, to recap, guys, it's the langostino tails. Langostino tails. I know we're cooking a little bit early, but everybody was starving. Super Dad said he makes Alfredo out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> I love homemade Alfredo. It's so easy. I don't think most folks realize how easy it is. Um, if y'all saw my Aldi's haul, I did a video on We had the artisan French baguette bread that I grabbed. It's a take and bake. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. It takes about uh, eight minutes, seven, eight minutes in my oven um, at 375. Of course, it's 350 because it's convection. And I'll show you how we dip that, too. If you've been to a good Italian place um, to eat, you know, they always give you the pesto and oil at the table with the bread when you sit down. And I tell you what, if you can get your hands on some of this tomato, garlic, oregano infused oil, holy moly, this is the stuff to get. It is so good. Sometimes they have the rosemary only, and it's terrible. And Aldi's has a good deal, too. I mean, some yeah. of their stuff seems a little bit weird, but it's actually pretty good. What's up, Dre Gaming? How's everything going, bro? Long hey. time no see. How you been doing, Dre? Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a good day today, Dre. So, again, guys, you know, just babysit the sauce. Appreciate that, winter days. <laughs> we'll see what happens, you know. If the show grows a little bit, then we'll keep going. If it doesn't seem to get anywhere, then maybe we'll stop. But anyway, for right now, we're having a good time. It doesn't matter to me. I have to cook dinner whether I'm on camera or not. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep, true. This is an awesome meal right here, though. It's so easy. He's running packages, people at Amazon. That's awesome. That's a good job to have. Yeah. Do you get to kind of make your own hours there, or do you got a set time working for Amazon? I've had Amazon deliveries late. So yeah, I they know. run seven days a week. Yeah. Treeland Truth's got some great content out there right now as well, too. Make sure to check her out. She's been putting out some pretty cool videos almost daily. You're doing a fantastic job, Winter Day says. <laughs> Thank you, Winter Days. <laughs> um, Greatly appreciate that. You know, I, I, we cook dinner every night of the week, so I figured why not go live and show y'all what we do around here. Whew, Dre's putting in 12-hour days, three days a week. That's not bad, though. At least you got four days off. Now, if you can make it on that, that's awesome. Yeah, that's 36 hours. That's doctor and nursing shifts there. You guys, this is still on medium heat. Tell Luke to open the door for him, buddy. It's still on five and just low and slow. Keep it moving. I'm about to pull that pasta off and give it another minute when it's done. Yeah, it looks ready, really. Yeah. With this kind of pasta meal, I am going to rinse it with a little bit of cold water, cool water, um, to... Never had that kind of pasta before. Uh-uh, it looks cool. Pasta, Need another minute. Like another minute? Yep. A little bit gummy? Yep. Okay. And I'm just waiting on the water, y'all, for the broccoli. It's pretty neat to see. Uh, Could just throw the broccoli in here. No, I can do that. We can separate it. They get a little gummy when we do that. Campfire, that smells great, don't it, Tree Lynn Truth? Mm -hmm. I didn't set the timer. I'm bad with the time tonight, Mr. AP. I still got about five, six minutes left on that bread. You gotta remind me what to do. Okay, come over here to the sauce. You see that, guys? That's Starting to get a little for. bit of boiling action. That's what you're looking for right there. Cut it to off. Turn all the way to off. All the way to off. And here we go. This is three cups. I put this shredded in first because it needs the heat melt to start the melt and then I come in with the grated three cups of grated parmesan heck yeah I used to make pizza sauce out of the thick whipping cream and the parmesan cheese I'd melt it down 
put that on the pie crust and then put seafood on there and then a little bit of mozzarella cheese and run that through the oven and I had a lot of great great comments out the pizzerias on those pizzas And I'm just kind of running the whisk through you guys. The cast iron pan holds heat really well. And I just keep stirring it and working it in, you guys. You can see that cheese starting to stick around a little bit. Yeah, see that? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Man, that's going to be good right there. <laughs> that garlic and the Italian seasoning and a little bit of a zest to it. Yeah, Super Dad, I don't know if you've ever heard of these little um, langostinos. langostinos, but it's like between lobster, shrimp, and a crayfish. Very good in the Alfredo. They come from Aldi's as well. They're pre-cooked, so throw oh, them yeah. into your Alfredo sauce just to get them hot. I said turn it off because it is finished, but I bumped it back on low because I forgot I had these cold lobsters to go in here. So literally all I do, you guys, is put them in the sauce. And I'm just being careful not to get any of that water in there. They're going into my sauce. And I just got a seafood Alfredo. I strained them, but you can tell. There's water in the bottom. Very quick meal. Very good oh, meal. Yeah. And I'm going to pull that pasta off. And it's awesome. If you got an Aldi's, check the Aldi's out. They seem to be the only place that I've seen these at. So yeah. if you're right there by Aldi's, uh, maybe they got some of these for you right there too. Okay, um, now you can always use shrimp now. You know shrimp on Alfredo, right, that's an all-time favorite. Chicken. I've been known to blacken some chicken on the separate skillet, you guys. Yeah, blackened chicken Alfredo okay, is delicious. Okay, I'm going to leave you over here for a second with all this. And you can show them and zoom in if you want to with that. And I'm going to pull the pasta. Pasta noodles are pretty much done. Yep, I'll pull those right now. And you, here, you can use that one. Bring up some of the little shrimps and chill. This is a much calmer meal, I'll put it that way, than we had last night with all the frying and chaos. Alright, so, so the sauce is pretty much ready. The sauce is ready to go. We're just waiting to get some broccoli heated up. Yeah, and the broccoli is so easy too. And honestly, with the broccoli florets, they cook super, super fast. You don't have to have that water all the way to a complete rapid boil just to get them hot enough to throw in the Alfredo either. So we're already starting to boil here. And the broccoli's frozen, so the water's going to be going all the way back down. Yeah. Hey, Rosa, how you doing? To stop the pasta from cooking. With this type of meal with ready to eat pasta, I always do a quick cool water rinse over them and that cool water signals that pasta to stop cooking. Rosa Madden up in the hey, chat, Rosa. everybody. What is up, Rosa? How's life treating you today? Good to see you, darling. Greg Manley running my uh, email right there if y'all need to contact hey, me. Thank Greg. you for that, Greg Manley. I'm going to sneak some of this infused oil into that. And then I'm also going to sneak Cheers right back to you, man. Bam! Heck yeah. Super Dad, everybody. Check him out. He's got an awesome grow channel as well. A little bit of that pasta sauce in here. Medical grow channel, that is. Alright, Mr. AP? Watch it. Don't go right in between there. Okay, I'll do that. I just dropped that? Sure did. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Mr. Fulton Moraz, what hey, is Mr. up? Fulton? The cavalry has arrived. How you doing tonight, Mr. Fulton Moraz? In there. I'm I just threw you. some in there. You got some more to put in there? Yeah, I was waiting for it to boil because I turned it, it off. It was already starting to boil. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off then. This broccoli is done. Is that your bread ringing? Yeah. And that's called a baguette? It is called a French baguette. So we're going to turn the broccoli off. Mr. Fort Moraz has a pretty interesting channel as well, too. Y'all check that out if y'all haven't been over there yet. He's done a few American Idol auditions. Y'all yeah, want to check him out. Great friend to have, too. Nice Love the cooking video. Keep them coming. Thank you, Rosa Madden. Thank you, Rosa. It's a little bit slower tonight, but with all the chaos going on everywhere, I'm sure that everybody's watching the news tonight. 
So with that addition of the old to that pasta right there, it's not going to um, get stuck together. So pretty much a quick, easy meal. Bam! The baguette is done. Yeah. Pretty looking piece of bread right there. That's handmade by yours truly. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. No. JP used to make some killer bread. He would make all of our sub rolls for the restaurant with the pizza dough. Yeah, Drake came and said, don't forget that little pinch of salt and pepper and give it a bam. <laughs> or, um, you got to be careful with salt, though, because whenever you use that much cheese, Parmesan is naturally salty. So you can easily over salt this recipe. Now, y'all know I love salt and pepper, um, but I just try to be really cautious with this one because I've over salted it before and ruined the whole batch. <laughs> Cool down a little bit. 23 oh. thumbs up. Greatly appreciate that, my yeah, friends. Oh my goodness. Oh, That's some good bread right there with that oil. Rosa Madden says she loves cooking moose. <laughs> Winter Day said, slide over. I'm bringing my chair to the table. Bam! Heck yeah, if you were right here, you'd be welcome here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you hear that crunching? Yeah. That's how you know it's like a amazing French crust bread. Yeah, I love that stuff. Aye, aye. And um JJS Mixed Vlogs, how you doing this evening? Good to see you again. Hope you're having a good hey, evening. Guys. Always nice to see you. JJS Mixed Vlogs, you everybody make sure y'all check bread? her out. She's a great supporter for your channels. What's up, mama? Some I snuck a little piece. On a cardiac diet, well, supposed to be. <laughs> I know, ain't that something? I don't always use salt, but Mrs. AAP, she's a salt and pepper fanatic. Well, I don't like bland foods. Right? Check that out. I usually mix in the Parmesan with that oil, you guys, for a dip. Oh my gosh, this is just the best thing ever together. <laughs> Well, we got 25 thumbs up, so that's really? pretty cool. Thank you, guys. I'm going to start plating. Show everybody what it looks like. We'll get this on a plate. Of course, we won't be here near as long this evening as we were yesterday, so we're going to be out of here in a minute. Truth Matters, what's up? Good to see you tonight, Truth Matters. Hope you're having a great evening. If you got any new content, feel free to drop your link in here and let everybody have a link to get over there and check it out. Anybody in here that's got a new video or anything interesting to check out, drop that link. Okay. So while we're over here sneaking bread, I'm going to go ahead and fix the young men's bowls. Greg Manley says, what is up with JJS Mix Vlogs? <laughs> Two awesome friends right there. JJS Mix Vlogs and Greg Manley, a definitely must have up in your network. Holy smokes, are you kidding me, Super Dem? What? He's had three open heart surgeries. That's why he can't. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes, my friend. Oh, yeah, you can share whatever you want, Super Dad. If you got any content, go ahead and share it, my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Truth Matters up in here talking with Treeland right now. Truth Matters has an awesome channel. If you got any new video or content or want to get your name up, feel free to drop the link. J Luck Blog, what is up? What is up? So good to see you as well, too. And blessings to you and your family. Good help to all. Bam, J Luck Blog, good to see you this evening. Yeah, good to see y'all. Hope you've been doing well, too, J Luck. Absolutely. Now, this is one that I play over here at the stage for the young men's. I am human. What is up? How you doing she tonight? Is. I am human. Sure is. Check out those little lobster tails. They're adorable on pasta. You getting hungry, buddy? <laughs> All right. Trying to make sure everybody gets a little bit of broccoli. A little 
Yeah, I am human. Said, give me some of that. No. <laughs> ah, wait, everybody, I'm gonna stop. Put your fingers away. Wash your hands for Ooh, that's looking good over there. Tell everybody that. I took a shower. Are you lying to me? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good right there now. This is such an easy meal, you guys. Love you too. I am human. Thank you yes. very much for being here with us tonight. And I promise, guys, this broccoli is like way done. If you were to bring this broccoli to a bowl, you wouldn't have anything left. <laughs> Truth Matter said, don't sub to this channel. I need 1K on Treeland Truth, LOL. <laughs> Winter Day says, good job, little buddy. Bam. Rosa Madden's up in here saying, that looks good. Bam. Heck Thank yeah. You, Rosa. Greatly appreciate y'all very much. Jen Life, too. And, um, like How's Mama JoJo doing tonight, Jen? This is such an easy recipe, you guys. I can't say it's low on fat because I use heavy whipping cream. But, uh, Boy, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. I need to make sure I get some little bit of bread too. Punk. Pasta's <laughs> comfort food. Vegan Realist has an awesome channel too. He's got like a variety channel. Basically, whatever you got on your mind, you can go in there and just start talking, and he'll be glad to freaking talk with you about it, my friend. Vegan Realist. Awesome channel, my friend. Everybody gets plenty of seafood. Isn't that eight people? A couple of broccoli. Mom, don't I need eight forks? No, Got my plate ready? <laughs> so what's the name of the little lobster type things in there? They're langostinos. Langostinos. Uh, Jay blog, langostinos. It's like a hybrid lobster tail slash crayfish, crayfish slash shrimp. I don't know what they are, but they're damn good. They're really, really sweet like lobster. Truth Matters said, what's up, kiddo? That's one out of six, Truth Matters. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> house. So you see, I got lots of plating to do most evenings. Give me some. Mm. <laughs> the gullies, what's up, what's up? Hey, the gullies. Another great friends and another great channel right there. The gullies, check them out. They do mukbang challenges. They do just uh, chatting shows where you can go and chat while they're eating awesome stuff as well. The Gollies got a great channel and they're great friends. Good to see y'all tonight. The Gollies. Very good to see y'all. Mr. Fulton Marat says, Armored American Patriot, there's tarantula spiders right behind your feet. Ah! <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when this guy can hide when the youngins are going to bring in for real. Watch out, you got a big spider behind you. <laughs> so this would be one of the prettier bowls. So this is looking really good. Easy. And it packs a punch of flavor. We're not going to eat anything, but I'm going to sit down. No, put your bowl back up there. I'm just going to sit down with my bowl. Hunko bread and butter too. Yep, I am human. We've got a baguette that we just pulled out the oven and we've got this tomato, garlic, and oregano infused olive oil. So it's very good. Truth Matters is cracking up too. Looking forward to your challenge, sir. Heck yeah, the gullies challenged me to eat six atomic wings twice the heat. I don't know if I can. I know Mrs. AAP oh, can yeah. now. I love but I think Mr. Time. Golly, I think he's wanting to see me do it. <laughs> I'll record you doing it. That I'll have to a drink trip. a big old beer before I do that, and then I'll be like invincible to food. <laughs> Anybody ever go out to eat and they drink a beer and then it feels like you could just eat all night? I mean, that's how I get anyway. Lou Rock, bam! What is up? Let me get Lou Rock a wrench. Now, Lou Rock is way above my league. He's got an awesome channel, awesome paranormal content, awesome adventures. Check him out. Lou Rock, what is up, my friend? How's life treating you, bro? What's going on? Fixing supper for the youngins over here, y'all. I got 12 people up in here. See, now if this was Lou Rock, he'd have 120 in here. <laughs> but that's all good. We're doing a little bit of a switch up, my friend. We're just doing a couple cooking shows with Mrs. AAP. Yeah. Doing something a little bit different for a few days. We're going to be coming back with the 420 giveaways coming up here soon and, and doing some more partying down there and all. But for now, AAP cooking show. <laughs> You're welcome, Lou, man. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate that, bro. Excellent, excellent content right there. 
over 20, I, I believe Lou rocks over 25,000 subscribers. Really? Great channel. Awesome friends. Yes, gracious. Check him out. Yeah, we Just getting ready for these new rules going into place on Friday in Massachusetts. Uh-oh, what kind of rules y'all got coming in there, Lou? New rules. I love this cooking stream. Thank you very much, Truth Matters. Greatly appreciate it, my friend. So, pasta is just comfort food, y'all. It plates really easy. We've got those langostino lobster tails in here. We made our base. We made our sauce. Homemade from scratch. We sneak some broccoli on this plate. And then we have all seven plates at the table that we need for everybody. Yeah, Lou Rock, man. He's been putting out some awesome content. Y'all check that out. And when he's live, make sure y'all catch him. He goes live with the uh, spirit boxes running and just a ask. cool background. Awesome, awesome friends up in the chat. Great place to go if you want to meet some really cool people. I'm stoked that he's here with me right now, man. Thank you, Lou Rock. And it's because I don't see Lou Rock as much as I see a lot of you folks coming up in here. So that means a lot that you came, bro. Appreciate that, Lou. So this is a really simple pasta tonight. Um, if y'all are looking for something a little bit more exciting, Mr. AP almost burnt down the house last night frying steak. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, man. That's what? bull crap, Lou. What? Trying to lock the place back down, eh? Oh, goodness. Man. Yeah, that's screwed up, man. I feel bad for all the younger kids growing up right now with this crap going on. You know, only only get to live what a quarter of their life they can't do anything can't go to school meet friends can't do nothing so yeah it really sucks truth matter says Lou can you check out my video please Treeland truth channel BAM oh, yeah. <laughs> Treeland's got a great channel no lie mm, Treeland's a trip so are we ready to eat mama yeah. I'm done. well guys and gals we greatly appreciate y'all Thank you all very much for coming in again tonight. This has been another awesome cooking show with Mrs. AAP. We greatly appreciate y'all tonight. If y'all want to drop your link real quick, I'll give y'all about another minute. Get the link in the chat. That way people can come over to your channels. They can rewatch the show later and go to your channels. I really don't go to many streams due to working so much, but when I get a notification from people that have been good to me, bam, I pop in. Heck yeah, Lou. Thank you, my bro. Mr. AAP. What's up, mama? I don't know why. Get you under the light picture here. Bam! So we'll be coming back real soon, my friends. We're going to be doing a 420 giveaway. I keep saying that. We may go back live again this evening. Yeah, I was thinking about Keep that. Keep the notification bell on and ready. It's going to be epic. We can give some stuff away tonight after I get the kitchen cleaned up and the young and fed and washed. Well, thank you again, Mrs. AAP. Yes, thank thank you. everybody in chat. We look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, y'all stay safe and God bless you all, my friends. Bam!